Hey there guys, I am the Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. Just a very quick update today, it was Heresy Thursday yesterday and what they showed us is not something entirely new, but it was something that I think we all knew was coming because we saw the ranged version of the new Plastic Leviathan Dreadnought a couple of weeks ago and I think there was a bit of confusion initially about whether it was just purely ranged weapons in the kit or whether it would be coming with the melee arms as well and it does now look as though it has been confirmed that it won't because there is a totally separate melee focus version of the Leviathan Dreadnought going up for sale in the near future in addition to the ranged one. They do state that the melee one will be available a little bit before the ranged version, which I'm going to be honest is a little bit odd. I mean, why not just release them at the same time? And then on top of that, they've announced that there will also be a separate upgrade kit for both the ranged arms and the melee arms. So there will be two separate upgrade kits as well. So if you do want to do some more mix and matching between your dreadnoughts, you're either going to have to buy the melee version and the ranged upgrade sprue or the ranged version and the melee upgrade sprue or just a ranged and a melee leviathan dreadnought and i mean it's okay so first of all it is still a gorgeous model i do love the leviathan dreadnought i love that it's coming to plastic i love that they are doing a melee variant which has either the anti-infantry siege claws or the anti-vehicle siege drills they are going to be a very cool addition to your army and I do think that Leviathans are still going to be pretty damn effective on the battlefield to boot. But I really don't understand why GW has done them as separate kits. I mean, aside from the obvious money grabbing reasons, why not just put all of the weapons in one sprue? It seems like, if nothing else, a waste of resources and packaging and time to do them completely separately. I do think personally it's because they know people will want to mix and match so they can make a bit of extra money by essentially forcing people to either have to buy a separate upgrade sprue or in some cases buy a second leviathan completely just to have the full set of ranged and melee weapon options to go on your dreadnought and to, to magnetize and to swap out. It is a bit of a scummy move I think and whilst I am as I said very very glad the kit is going to plastic you know it's good that you're getting the whole range of the heavy flamer or the Volkite nipple gun options the phosphex discharger for the carapace mount I'm just not super super keen on the fact that it is two separate kits yes some people will want to buy two anyway because it is a cool model but if you just wanted one leviathan to add to your army and you wanted a melee option and a ranged option for its loadout you are essentially going to be forced into buying at the very least the upgrade sprue in order to do so and for me that just seems like a really bad really annoying thing to be forced into doing so i mean there we go just a very short quick video today i just wanted to get it out there that the melee leviathan is coming and the somewhat bad news i guess in some ways that you are going to be spending a bit more than maybe you initially thought i do think it's fair to say that it is still probably going to be cheaper than what it used to cost on the forge world site getting the resin one so it is still going to be cheaper to get a leviathan in your army but if you wanted one with a siege claw and a, a, a melter, whatever the melter gun is or something like that, you can't just buy one and get it all straight out of one box, which is a bit of a stupid decision, I think. But what do you think of the new Plastic Leviathan kit and what do you think of it being sold as two separate boxes so that you can either get the ranged or the melee option? Let me know in the comments below what you think and as always thank you very very much for watching please do like and subscribe for more warhammer content from me but until next time i'll catch you later guys